Well, good morning. It's been about a week since I've been able to have one of these um, with y'all. I've been out of town, a lot of things going on. I record a few and drop them, but this is the first time we've been able to come back live in a week. And it's also a week since I've ended my fast. And i got to be honest, ending the fast and figuring out what to eat was harder than actually being on the fast. It's kind of hard to get back into the a groove in a normal way. Normally, you want to take half the time you spent in a time to be able to recover from a uh, of a fast. So for a 40-day fast, you should take about 20 days to recover. Three days, a day and a half. You see how that goes. But everything's getting back to normal. It's getting a little better every, every day as I introduce new foods and continue to introduce a small amount of coffee into, into my diet. You know, I've kind of shared this past Sunday with the things that God gave to me and the word that he gave me. He also gave me a passage. He gave me a, a chapter during the midst of the fast that I really want y'all to look at when you get a chance. It's Isaiah 55. And one of those spots in there that uh, it begins out with, he says, why do you, why do you buy bread that's, that's not bread? Um, why do you do these things that don't, uh, that don't do any good for your body? The New Living Translation puts it the way it's way. So why do you buy food that gives you no strength? Why do you buy food that gives you nothing good um and really it's talking about honestly this is the first and what you ever seen in recorded history people talking about junk food things that are just of no good they're not good for you um whether they're candies and sweets or even worse this fast food junk that they call food it's it's neither fast nor food as a general um <laughs> a general rule they're they're just not good for you there's so many things that just aren't good for you but later down into Isaiah 55, and get to verse 6 and 7, it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, calling him while he is near. You know, we're looking for all these things and searching all these things that aren't real. There, there's nothing to them. But it says in this word, it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, call on him while he's near. And again, that went along with a time of fasting to be able to find God when you come close to him that way. And it's like I said, it's not that you move God, it's that we move. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call him while he is near. It's not that he is moved, it's that we've moved and we've become closer to him. He continues, he says, let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God for he will forgive generously. You know, there's there's so many things going on in our lives that draw us into the, away from God and... <laughs> And into the depravity of the world, <laughs> we think about it this morning, I'm drinking my Lakeview coffee from Southern Roots, and I really like it, that's their Papua New Guinea, but I had some friends here at work that, you know, they like dark roasts, you like it, they like their, <laughs> they like their coffee like their hearts are, dark and depraved, so I got them to do a special dark roast here, and, and it's good, I prefer the regular, but it's good too. Oh, and it's real. You know you've got some real coffee there. Same thing when you get into the presence of God and it becomes real. When you get into the word of God and it becomes real. Seek the Lord while you may find him. Why do you why do you look for food that's not food? Why do you look for things that don't strengthen you? You've got the real thing. You've got God right there in your presence. You move forward with him. Look, if, if, if for whatever reason, if you're not in church... You're not going to find God outside the church. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You, you really, you really not. You can come to Christ. You can come to a realization. You can come to salvation outside the church. Don't get me wrong. I see that. And evangelism should work that way. But to get closer and that real understanding, you need to be surrounded by an, a, a body of believers that are there to strengthen you up. You need to get under a pastor who's going to preach you the truth straight from the Word of God. Give you real food, real, <laughs> real bread. Seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, your days are numbered, people. We don't all have the opportunity. But turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on you, is what Isaiah 55, 6 and 7 told us this morning. Look, let me pray for you. Father God, I pray even now for all those in the sound of my voice that they will come to you, find you, turn you, seek you, Lord God. Father, let me let us seek you and find you why you may be found, why you are close. Let us draw close to you. All these things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, you know God loves you. you got to know by now that I love you. Get out there and make sure someone knows that you love them as well. 
Y'all have a great, wonderful, and blessed day.